Hello guys, long time no vlog. Seems like it's been a while. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, today I'm at Personal Electric Transport, which is a scooter shop, workshop, here, based here in London. I've got a real treat for you because today I am trying out a monster of a scooter. <laughs> This is the Zero 10X Monster Electric Scooter. It's powered by two 1000 watt motors that have a peak output of up to 3600 watts. It will carry you as fast as 40 miles per hour with a range of up to 60 miles. And all that power is controlled with front and rear hydraulic brakes and full suspension. Riding the Zero 10X takes balls. This ain't no Xiaomi M365, that's for sure. But once you've found the courage to mount this beast, it's a blast. Thankfully, there's plenty of different speed modes to ease you in, and switching between single and dual motors is as simple as pressing a button. And even though you've got all that power at your fingertips, never do you ever feel unsafe. The suspension is super bouncy, the build quality is excellent, and the brakes are the best I have ever tried. So the heavens have just opened up, so I'm taking cover under these trees here. Now, I've only used the scooter in single mode version so far, and already it's a beast. There's nothing that this scooter can't handle, like hills, off-road, anything I throw at it, it handles with ease. Largely thanks to that amazing suspension, which really absorbs pretty much everything. And this particular model I'm trying also has off-road tires, which definitely helps. But, saying all that, there's still another 1000 watt motor that I'm not even used yet. So I'm gonna knock it into dual motor version and see how we get on. I'm a little bit nervous, so wish me luck. Whoa, oh my golly gosh. This is insane! Oh my lord! Crikey! I got to nearly 40 kilometers an hour in what felt like nothing! Woo! Oh my word! That is a thrill! You've really got to hold on to the handlebars! Woo! Woo! That was something else! That was something else! Uh, as you can see by my skid. That was power and speed that I have never felt on electric scooter, ever. Um, I tell you what, it's a good thing that the, the Zero 10X has this kind of like fender bit on the back because you really want to push your heel into that when you're reaching those high speeds, especially in dual motor mode. Yeah, I reached well over 40 kilometers there, but there's actually another gear of speed. Uh, this baby has actually six gears altogether. First three in single motor version, and then another three in dual motor version. I don't think I need to go anywhere near gear three because that was fast enough. Whew. Bring the rhyme, it's 2019. The future is here, so why, oh why? Are we stuck in first gear? We got two ton cars with deadly emissions. Getting hard to breathe, I'm like a man Ah, I think I've just found the biggest problem about this scooter. Stairs. Oh boy. Oh. 
Should've got a Xiaomi. Okay, vlogging and riding a very, very high powered electric scooter is not recommended. So, whoa. Huh. So I had a few reservations about reviewing this kind of scooter, largely because of the power. Um, I've only ever reviewed smaller, lighter, less powerful commuter scooters than this. And I definitely wouldn't use this for commuting. Um, that's not to say you couldn't, and certainly if you live in an area like this, or out in the sticks, or you just want to have some weekend fun, then the Zero 10X is definitely worth considering. But speaking of power, it's remarkable how quickly you become accustomed to having that speed and acceleration and power at your fingertips. And it's largely down to, well, a number of things. The suspension is incredibly bouncy. You can throw anything at it. The hydraulic brakes, which are in instantly effective. I've never used hydraulic brakes before, but I'm incredibly impressed that you can stop this thing on a dime. And we've got a very nice wide platform to stand on, which makes you feel very safe as well. So it's like Spider-Man's uncle would say, with great power comes great responsibility. And the developers of this scooter certainly have been responsible to develop something that can handle the speed and the power and the acceleration. But obviously one caveat to having all that power and speed and such a large body is, Ugh, she's not light. <laughs> So all in all, this has really redefined what an electric scooter can do. It's crazy fast, it's crazy powerful, yet ironically crazy safe. It feels like one of the safest scooters I've ever been on, which is really ironic. Like I said, it's been a bit of an eye opener for me. I'd really like to thank Personal Electric Transport for lending me it for the day. I've had a great time. I'm still alive, which is the main thing. Uh, so let me know what you guys thought in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Oh. Ah.